Hello everybody. So I live in gardening zone 9B, Central Florida, and this is what I'm working with. Uh, we bought property a couple years ago and it looked, the entire place looked just like this. So my husband, um, for the last two years, my husband has been bush hogging over and over again to keep it mowed down and I've been um, planting trees to start that food forest. So I got probably about 50, 60 trees in the ground. But with everything that's happening now, I really need to probably start my vegetable gardening. So I could use any help, any advice, any tips, tricks. Um, again, that's Zone 9B, Central Florida. And I've never had a green thumb with the vegetables, which is why I've put it off for so long. But I probably really need to get started on that. So I've bought off my seeds that I need to plant. And in Florida, you can start planting um, towards, uh, you know, maybe the beginning, middle to the end of August. So that's where we're at right now. And I need to get everything in the ground. So I'm kind of in a little bit of a rush because I feel like I'm already behind. But so this area has been bush hogged and the only thing I'm doing right now is I am laying down cardboard to control the weeds and um, putting a pile of mulch on top of it. Uh, that's just to control the weeds. I'm not really going to garden in that section. The, the sun isn't that great. Um, but my, my sister gave me an old dog kennel because we don't have a fence around our property. So I got this old dog kennel and my husband set it up for me and I went ahead and I painted it because it was really old and rusty looking. Uh, and right now what I have is I have tarps and some plastic down to just suppress the weeds that are in there so I can start planting. Um, I wanted to put everything in here that I could get in here, cram as much as possible because we don't have fencing, so just to protect uh, everything from maybe the deer and anything else that would try to go ahead and get into my veggie patch. So this is what I'm working with. And we also have this um, tent here that I'm gonna use as my kind of staging area. And we put the kennel up where we're gonna get the most winter sun. So it does, I think that that's, I've been watching it for a couple of years, this area, and I think that that's going to be a really good spot. Um, but again, this is my staging area so far. Seeds are inside. And what I want to do is continue to mulch this whole area, continue to put carver down and mulch this whole area. Um, because I've already got like fruit trees here uh, that have started in pots. And I just need to kind of get those out of the ground or off the ground and onto some mulch and um, you know just to get it a little more workable back here and get those weeds down. This is my greenhouse for the winter. You don't really need a greenhouse in Florida too much if you just plant according to your seasons. Um, so my husband did go ahead and fence in the greenhouse for me so I can go ahead and start all my starts and then just put them in here so none of the squirrels and um, animals you know just tear in my starts so this is a before of everything everything's kind of just gone down there I'll be planting things and on the shelves I'll be um, working with starts so that's basically it um, I'm kind of limited to the greenhouse this uh, red greenhouse here and I am gonna do um, a raised bed that comes uh, remove all those bricks but do a raised bed that comes all the way out down and up because this is a really good uh, sun area winter sun area so that's pretty much it this is a before or when we're done I'll give you an after uh, we'll get a bunch of seeds started and get this all of this mulch yeah, so, whoo, gross.
Okay, we're a little further along. Don't be cheesy. <laughs> but, in all reality, this is the most important subject to homeschooling your child. It's more important than math. It's more important than English, writing, history, science. You need to teach your kids how to grow food. So we got all this cardboarded up. We'll get it mulched up. We're gonna get these seeds planted in the trays. The seed starts and then put them in the greenhouse. I already did the first one, yeah, for you. Okay, this is what we got planted so far. We got broccoli, bok choy, cauliflower, red cabbage, kale, sweet peppers, tomatoes. Sugar snap peas down here. Sugar snap peas again and cantaloupe. And then we have cucumber, zucchini, Romaine, lettuce, spinach, celery, mustard, arugula, and chives. Down here we have one row of yellow Cherokee wax beans and then one row of bush green beans. So I'll just get these watered up and then call it a day.